tonight. Sorry, I've, I've always wanted to do that after like an overdramatic news jingle. Actually, you know what I need? I need... Tonight! Man, I'm good at this whole newsreader thing, aren't I? In top stories tonight, it is my birthday! What, is that, is that not good enough of a news story for you? Fine, let's talk about gaming news. Big story today, Microsoft have announced more details on the Xbox One regarding the always online nature and how used games are going to work. And it's not pretty, and that is going to be pretty much what this entire episode is going to be about. There is very little time for anything else because this is such a big piece of news. Alright, so let's go through this article because honestly, this is pretty much one of the worst pieces of damage control I've ever seen. Good work, Microsoft. A new generation of games with power from the cloud because every Xbox One owner has a broadband connection. Really, Microsoft? Sure, yes, every Xbox One owner has a broadband connection because, you know, it's not like anybody ever loses their internet connection ever for any reason whatsoever. I mean, that kind of thing just never actually happens. I mean, you know, the whole thing about me not having internet for the last two weeks in, in the new place, I totally made all that up. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not like I've had to rely on my offline 360 games to actually keep myself entertained or anything. Yeah, everyone has broadband, and broadband is completely and totally 100% reliable. Buy the way you want, disc or digital, on the same day. Well done, Microsoft! You finally caught up to Nintendo. Nintendo, the ones that only actually started allowing you to have an actual online account last year. You finally caught up to them in terms of digital distribution. Good work. Okay, with Xbox One, you can game offline for up to 24 hours on your primary console or one hour if you are logged onto a separate console accessing your library. Offline gaming is not possible after these prescribed times unless you re-establish a connection. Okay, I don't think I can say anything about this that hasn't already been said somewhere else on the internet. And I'm pretty sure everybody said it in a much wittier way than I ever could, so... I'm just going to look at the camera with a disappointed face and shake my head slowly. I am disappoint. Alright, so the second part of this press statement goes on to talk about how used games are going to work. So let's uh, go ahead and read this one. Buy the way you want. Discord Digital on the same day. Whoa, deja vu. Share access to your games with everyone inside your home. Basically, as long as other people play on your console, they get unlimited access to all of your games. Whoa, this is a totally mind-blowing concept. I think my number one problem with the Xbox One is that none of its features are actually features. They're compromises. They're just extra restrictions. So when you get a point like this in a press statement, that's basically how things have been since the beginning of console gaming... It just makes it look so much better. Microsoft, you can't just take something that has been a staple of video games, of console, of home console gaming, since it started existing, and say that that's a feature. Just because what you could have done would have been worse. That's not how features work. Up to 10 members of your family can log in and play from your shared games library on any Xbox One. Well, it looks like Zeba's about to become a member of my family. I've always kind of seen him as a, like a crazy uncle or something like that. Well, unless Connect has to scan both our birth certificates to figure out they're both in the fa same family. And cross-reference them across like a built-in family tree database. You know what, at this point honestly that actually wouldn't surprise me. Give your games to friends! Oh my god, hallelujah, you can give your games to friends! You know, as long as they've been in your friend list for over 30 days and you've never given the game away before. Here comes that disappointed look again. Loading or renting games won't be available at launch. 
Of course it won't, Microsoft. Of course it won't. Why would we expect... Why would we expect to be able to do that, you know, as soon as we buy the console? Let's... It's probably also going to be a feature that's going to be, you know, endlessly delayed. Because, you know, why would we want to give away our games? It's just, it's just silly. Alright, I understand how the industry works regarding used games. I understand that used games are a very bad thing for the, in for the industry, particular publishers and developers. I understand just why used games are not a good thing. And yes, I think that companies like GameStop... Is it GameStop? Yeah, GameStop. I get mixed up between GameSpot and GameStop. It's very confusing. I get companies like Game and GameStation profit way too much on what is essentially something that's bad for the industry. I understand that. But this is not the way to fix it. I don't know what the right way to fix it is. Don't get me wrong. I'm no expert. I don't understand what the best way to fix it is. But pissing off half the people that buy your console and adding extra restrictions for the sake of adding extra restrictions is not the way to solve it. In the months ahead, we will continue to listen to your feedback. Really? You will? Oh my god, because, you know, you've done an amazing job of that so far, you know. I think all of my concerns about the Xbox One have been alleviated and- OH WAIT! I'm using sarcasm again! Alright, staying on the subject of Microsoft for a while, apparently they've been going through and cancelling some of their one-to-one -one interviews with people at E3, because, you know, talking to the press about your console, why would you need to do that? It's not like you need PR or anything. This is just a move that either screams lack of confidence or lack of organisation, because they've been blaming it on scheduling conflict. But considering there have been at least three cancellations, yeah, sure. Three, three separate scheduling conflicts. I got it. Despite this, Larry Herb is still insisting that media are going to be doing one-to-one -one interviews with executives, and Kotaku have said that their interviews remain uncancelled, but there are still some people in the industry that are saying that they've been told that there aren't any interviews, so nobody has a clue what's going on! Hooray! It also looks like Microsoft is in talks with Sky here in the UK to possibly offer a subsidised Xbox One with a Sky TV subscription. Now, I know that no price points have been announced for the Xbox One, but this does not bode well. If they're talking about having to subsidise it, that means it's probably going to be a pretty damn expensive piece of hardware. You know, I, I know I have said in the past that I'm going to get one regardless, but let's not go crazy here, you know? I'm not going to buy one if it's horrendously expensive. It's not like I have a huge vested interest in actually getting an Xbox One. I'm interested in the exclusive games, but if I have to pay extra just because it's got a bunch of TV crap and this Kinect crap which I'm never going to use, I will, you know, not be happy with that. Okay, so I know it's been a very Microsoft-centric episode so far, so let's end on a slightly more positive non-Microsoft related note. Konami did a half hour pre-E3 presentation online last night, showing off some of the things they're going to be showing off. Announcing some of the things that they're going to be announcing. This includes more details on Metal Gear Solid 5 and also some details on Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, which has a modern day setting with tighter and more strategic combat controls than the original. And it's been given a release date of this winter for PS3, 360 and PC. Alright, I think that's pretty much all we have time for. Basic gist of this episode, everything's still terrible at Microsoft. And as it's my birthday, I'm going to go out for a meal with family right now, so I will see you next time for another news desk. Still the worst named series on YouTube! Alright, so we're actually going to go through this article... We are going to go through the article. Nintendo, the ones that allowed... That only actually started... So then they went on to say how used games aren't going to work. Boo, 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 they're not going to work. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Buy the way you want. Discord Digital on the same day. Oh, deja vu. Pencil. They've been blaming it on... Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. They've been blaming it on Cthulhu. You know, it's not, it's not like I have a vested... It's not like I have a vest. Alright, staying on the subject of Microsoft for a little while, it looks like...
my packages here, so I have to go.